Hey guys, in this video here, I'm going to show you how you can remove your background without the use of a green screen. I'll also show you how to isolate your voice just like mine is here. To do both of these things, we're going to be using the NVIDIA Broadcast app. You can see it up on my screen already. As the name suggests, the app's created by NVIDIA. It uses the AI cores on your RTX GPU to do some pretty neat things. It's great if you are an office worker who attends a whole bunch of meetings every day. It's great if you're a streamer. So let's get into the different options that we have and how to configure it. All right, microphone. So let's go over the options that we have in here. You can see you've got the microphone source as the first option. I've got mine selected as Focusrite USB audio because that is the audio input device I'm using. This microphone is running into a Focusrite device. That device is then running into my computer. Selected. If you have a gaming headset or maybe a webcam or something, you can just select that as well. For the effects, you've got noise removal and room echo removal. Noise removal is the big one. This is probably the most valuable part of this tool. If I drag this down, you can hear all that feedback in the background. If I drag it all the way up, it cleans all that out for you. Not just signal related things like I just gave you an example of there. It's also background noise. I could play music. You wouldn't be able to hear that come through the mic. It's awesome at doing that. There's one below it, room echo removal. Less apparent, but it just removes any bouncing back into the microphone from something you've just said. This room I'm in at the moment is pretty echoey. You guys probably can't hear that. Alrighty, so speakers. This one is the same as audio, except it cleans up the sound coming out of your speakers. So if you're in a meeting with like 20 people, uh, there's lots of background noise, maybe there's a dog or something in the background. It'll eliminate that for you only. So it just cleans it up as it's presented to you. Because of this, if you click Add Effect, you'll see the exact same options that you, I had under the Microphone tab. Still have noise removal, still have room echo removal. Good if you're playing on Discord with your friends or something, and maybe one of them just has a crappy microphone and makes a lot of noise. Just like this is your uh, output device and whack these on, it should clear it up for you. Alrighty, camera settings. So in the top left up here, you can see I've got camera source and I have my Logitech stream cam connected. That is the camera that I'm using. That is the camera that I'm using. Now in the, the right of this here, you've got this little icon. If you click that, that's your camera configuration. This is where you can change the individual settings for your camera. I'm gonna get rid of that, I've already dealt with mine. Below this, you'll have what source you wanna capture. Now this is for NVIDIA broadcast and how much it's capturing. So you've got 1080p at 30 FPS. That's what I capture in for all of my stuff. So that's fine, 1080p 30, great, awesome. Don't even change that. Below this is where you get into the fun stuff. This is all the effects that you wanna apply on your actual video. Now, for mine here, what you're seeing now is background removal. Above it, you'll see video noise reduction. There's not really much to say on this one. It's just, it tries to get rid of lower quality cameras. Like mine's not a full camera. It's just a, it's a Logitech webcam. They can be a little bit grainy and have a bunch of noise. This just gets rid of that. Just tries to smooth it out and just have you as a person as raw as it can. But there is background video removal that I have enabled. Now I don't have a green screen behind me, but you're probably hard to tell that. If I turn this off, you can then see here is my actual background. You can see the room that I'm in. You can see a door, some blinds. You get it. It's a room. Turn that back on. It goes away. Magic, right? Don't need a green screen. Don't need anything like that. You do need an RTX GPU. It's the catch. <laughs> you can see below this, it does have performance and quality. This is how accurate it is. If I hold my hand up here, right? Now you can see my fingers. If I put them close together, you can start to see there's little bits of white between each finger. A little bit closer to see that. Or if I move really quickly when it's close to the camera, right? You get this white smearing. That is my background coming through. It's because the GPU, sorry, my nose is a bit itchy today, is <laughs> the camera, the GPU is struggling to differentiate my hand from the foreground and background. So that's background removal. But when you're just sitting here, if you're streaming, you're gonna be a tiny little thing down the bottom right corner. 99% of use cases, this is absolutely fine. You don't need a green screen. Now we can go into background blur. It's another option. Uh, same thing, performance and quality. That does the same. You can just ignore it for every other option. It does means the same thing in every option from what I can tell. Strength here, you can put it to the lowest. It'll blur your background for you. Um, this is, you know, you can still tell what's behind me, but you can't make out any fine details. 
at full strength it's just whatever color palette basically it, it smears it so much that you, you're not going to be able to tell what's behind me uh we have background replacement this is if i um if you're doing like a, a meet an office meeting or something you may want to have your company's branding behind you uh you can put video files here as well and have a video loop and play behind you um there's background removal that's the one that i already covered and used there's auto frame auto frame god hello auto frame uh you can control the zoom it'll zoom in uh, as far as you like and the best part is it follows your face so you're always in the center of the cam so if i zoom this in and then i move around and you can see my camera is going to follow me trying to keep my face in the center of the shot great and you can combine this with other things you can combine this with um other effects so i could change noise and do uh, background replacement so you can see i've still got the keep following me around even though my background's there background removal same thing i can move around and the camera will follow me around as well anyway let's go back to noise removal and let's get out of auto frame because i do not need to see my face that close um, eye contact eye contact is a weird one um, i am looking at my screen at the moment and it's going to make it look like I'm looking directly at the camera. And if I look around my screen, it's always going to try and show me looking at the camera. And in fact, if you like turn your head, sometimes your eyes will glitch out. looks really weird. Um, it's really interesting, but I don't think it's quite there just yet. <laughs> it's a bit too creepy. You know, there's like a middle ground where blinking and looking away and it should have an animation between when you look away to when the auto eyes is like oh crap he's meant to be looking at the camera and it flicks you back to looking there there needs to be like a smoother transition i think before this is widely used um there's also a vignette now this i don't know why you'd really want to use this one but it does have face tracking so you can crank it up and have a dark little face and move around and stuff so yeah Let's go back to background removal. Cool, so those are the, the different camera options you've got in NVIDIA Broadcast. Alrighty, so we've just gone through every setting in the NVIDIA Broadcast app. I'm gonna show you now just how to quickly use it. You've probably noticed, but I have OBS open as I've gone through the different settings in the NVIDIA Broadcast app. You can see in OBS here, I have NVIDIA underscore mic, which I've created. Now, if I hot click NVIDIA mic and I click on the properties, you can see the device listed here is NVIDIA broadcast. If I drop this down, you can see there's the focus right device that I'm using in NVIDIA broadcast. In fact, let me click cancel and let's open up the microphone tab so you can see it. So microphone, microphone source, focus right USB audio. You've got to think of the different flow in your head. So I have a microphone that is going into this focus right device but is then going into my computer. But what happens once it's actually at my computer is it goes into NVIDIA broadcast. This is running in the background. I've selected that as the source. Now in OBS or Discord, for example, or Microsoft Teams or Zoom or whatever you want to use your microphone with, any application, you don't want to select the actual microphone if you want to use NVIDIA Broadcast. Instead, you're going to select NVIDIA Broadcast as the microphone. So for here, I've got NVIDIA Mic, and I've selected NVIDIA Broadcast, which points it at this application, which has my true audio device actually selected. So it comes into my computer, hits in Broadcast, Broadcast applies its lovely filters over it, and then OBS is selected to pull it from NVIDIA Broadcast. It's the same with my camera down here. I don't have Logitech Stream Cam, my actual camera selected. If I click properties, my camera is set as NVIDIA Broadcast because it's taking the output from NVIDIA Broadcast camera section here, not directly from my camera. There is one thing to watch for though, and that is if you're using NVIDIA Broadcast, you can't click configure video in OBS or in Teams or whatever. If you want to tweak your individual settings, you have to go back into NVIDIA Broadcast and click this little button here for camera properties to tweak it. Because the, the when you click tweak camera properties, that's a Windows command, but only one device can access that at a time. NVIDIA Broadcast is already accessing it. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, long story short, if you want to use NVIDIA Broadcast, set it all up. 
the program you want to use it with and you want the effects to apply in, make sure to select your output and your input as NVIDIA Broadcast and you should be great. Anyway, thanks for watching. Till next time. See ya.